Hey everybody, my name is Abram. I run D&D Games on Roll20. I'm going to make a quick video going over the APIs and the macros associated with those APIs that I use in my D&D The Currently, the APIs that I use in my games are Aura Intense, Combat Tracker, Token Help, Action Maker, Status Info, Group Check, Group Initiative, and Apply Damage. These up here are all located in the Roll20 script library. Apply Damage is a script that we will have to add manually. So with our games set up and ready to go, we are going to go over to Settings, API Scripts. Now it's very important you're going to need a pro account to add APIs into your game. That is about $10 a month. The first API that we are going to add is the Token Aurora. And to do that, you're going to select your Roll20 API script library. And we'll go ahead and type in Aura. And it's going to pop up right there. You'll we'll select it. Select Add Script. Save. You'll notice that now it is located here, showing that it is a script in your game. Go ahead and I'll add the next combat tracker. And scroll down, add script. I went ahead and added the rest of them. Uh, group initiative, when you add it, you're going to have a little pop down warning. You're just going to go ahead and select OK. Alrighty, so the next thing will be the apply damage script. You'll add the name apply here dot js and then copy paste the script will be located down below this video just highlight it copy and paste it here then scroll down and select save script with that all set up we're going to go ahead and back to the youtube example game and hit launch now that the game is opened up you'll notice on the right in the chat bar there will be some yellow text that was not would not be there without your your APIs first thing I do is go over to combat tracker because I turn the the combat tracker timer off in my games I select timer config and then scroll down and turn the timer to false okay now there are three commands we need to add into the chat bar those will also be listed down below last one now we need to add two macros in that talk to our apis just select these three bars up here on the top right select add to your macros it's very important that you do not put a space here in this text box we'll do group check first and this information will also be down below and then we're going to add another one here and you'll just select in bar in bar and you'll notice it popped up on the bottom left here First API we're going to go over is the Aura and Tint health colors. So you notice these four zombies have a different color ring around them. Red, yellow, green, and blue. Blue means they are beyond their max health. Green is they're close to full health or at full health. Yellow is half and red is close to dead. Once they get, say they lose all their hit points, there will be an X that pops up. Anytime they decrease in health, you'll see a red little blood splatter animation. Anytime they increase health, you'll see a little green uh, healing animation. I don't think it did it at times. So we'll go. There you go. See that little green pop up there. 
Next one we will do the token action maker. So you'll select your token in the chat bar. You will type in exclamation point TA enter. And this one creates macros that are connected to that token. So deselect, reselect, and then you will see that you can do a check. You can do an initiative, save, attack. It's just automatic. It uh, helps prevent you, the GM, from having to go in and out of several different character sheets. It would, it's very, just a very quick time saver. We also have the status info API. And this is if you select one of these emblems down here, it's associated with some of them, but not all of them. Whenever there's a condition like unconscious, you select it, uh, or grappled or restrained. It gives a quick pop-up in the, in the chat bar, lets everyone know what that condition is and the rules around it based on D&D 5e. All right, the last couple APIs, we'll go ahead and do the group initiative. To do that, you're going to highlight all of them. This is where one of our macros is going to come in handy. After you highlight them all, just like group and ish down here. And there it's rolled every single zombie's initiative. And setting it into descending order, the API combat tracker will start. And for the players, this is really nice, as well as the GM keeps everything lined up and whenever a player is done they can just select done in the chat bar and it will automatically move it to the next creature then we'll say that all four of these zombies took an area attack or need to make a, a save of some kind this will be the group check api you will highlight them all again select group check down here and we'll see they need to make a dexterity save DC for the save is 12, and damage, we'll just say 22. This will roll all of them at the same time. You can choose if they take half the damage or no, none of the damage on the save. It will roll all of them at the same time, and you can select apply damage, and it will apply the damage to the zombies automatically. As you see the two here in the center, failed their save so they took the full 22 damage where the two on the outside were successful and they only took half damage i want to thank you guys for watching this video if i come across any new apis that i end up liking and adding to my games i will add another video on here showing how to set them up and any changes i may make in the future if there's anything on Roll20 you want to know about, drop a message down below and I will try to maybe make a video or talk about it at some point. Thanks.